One of the scenic attractions of Tasmania is Tasman's Arch. And fair enough too, it's a magnificent bridge of stone stretching over the ocean beneath it. And the story of how an arch like this forms is really pretty interesting because it's a natural formation. The clues are in the rocks of the arch itself. If you look at it, it's full of cracks, some running upwards and some across. In fact, the whole thing's been carved into blocks of stone by the weather. And if those cracks get wide enough, the blocks are going to fall out into the ocean below. Well, how does the whole process start? We really need to see a cliff face from the point of view of the ocean. The waves come crashing in on the cliff face and they chew away at the weakest bits, which are the cracks, and they form them into caves. And the caves get longer and they get deeper. Air gets trapped in them and the waves compress that air inside the caves. And that's when the fun really starts. If you put your thumb on the end of a bike pump and press the handle, you'll compress air. Do it hard enough, you can blow the end out of the pump. And that's what the waves are doing here. They've dug a great cave, they've compressed air in it, and they've blown the end out. If you look through there, you can see the open ocean. And the waves are coming towards us through the tunnel. When there's a lot of power in them, in high seas, they come with a lot of force. And they hit the end here and spout into the air. It's called a blowhole. This one's called the blowhole. At any rate, they keep tearing through that tunnel, ripping the rocks off the side. And they turn it from a long, thin tunnel into a high, wide arch. And that seems to be how Tasman's arch was formed. Of course, the process doesn't stop there. The next layer of blocks is getting ready to fall out of the ceiling, and it will. And in due course, over thousands of years, the entire arch will crumble and drop into the sea below. The result will be a chasm, rather like Devil's Kitchen, a bit further up the road. Devil's Kitchen is a chasm, and the arch that probably once went across it has long since gone into the sea below. The sides are very straight because of the upright cracks in the rock. And the sea is now pounding into this chasm and beating on the back wall of it, beginning the whole process again. In fact, in a few million years' time, there'll probably be another Tasman's arch here for people to come and have a look at. <laughs>